We got this fish trap right here. Yeah, that trap should do just fine in the sewer. Jeez. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, but right here, guys. Oh, there's an iridescent shark in here. No. That boy is a stud. We got a little baby bicer. Beautiful, beautiful little baby Paku in here. Oh, <laughs> she's a natural. Dive. <laughs> Welcome back to Rob's Claws, guys. In today's video, we're going to be fishing two separate sewers as well as one of the places where we catch the most exotic aquarium fish. So before we get into the video, please like the video, subscribe, turn on turn on post notifications. And we're already at the first location. This is the Paku spot, all right? So we're going to set the fish trap in the sewer right there behind me. And hopefully we come out with some Paku. I don't know what we're gonna do with them after the fact that we do successfully catch them. Because I still do not have a place to live. Uh, waiting on the townhouse application. Might even start looking into another location simply because um, I don't really like these people. They're pretty annoying to deal with. But we got this fish trap right here. We're just gonna sink it down right there. And after we set this, we're gonna run over to the Walmart sewer. And we're gonna set a, fat, a fish trap there as well. But now that that's set, we're gonna run over to the Walmart sewer and set a fish trap there as well. And then to kill time while these traps sit, it's a little bit rainy, but I think we're gonna make do just by cast netting the exotic fish hub. So we're gonna get on with the video. And after all that said and done, after we check the traps and everything, we're gonna try going saltwater fishing with camera girl. See how it goes. See, oh, I see a lot of little bait fish in here as well. But let's see what the sewer's looking like. <laughs> this trap's pretty big. Gotta make sure I don't lose it. But yeah, that trap should do just fine in the sewer. So we're gonna let this sink as low as it goes. I got a good amount of line right here. And look at that thing just barrel down. We'll probably end up tying down to this stick right here. And just like that, this next trap at the sewer is set. Nobody should mess with this. Sometimes there are meddling kids running around these parts. So there's a chance this trap gets stolen. Not all too sure. You know, people tend to mess with stuff when we leave traps here. So hopefully it doesn't happen. But now we're gonna load up the cast net, slap on the GoPro on our head, and get the fishing, the exotic fish hub. All right, gang. Now. We're at the first location at the hub. We didn't come here last time we are here, but we're gonna load up this cast net and see what kind of damage we could do. So this is a brand new cast net. Hopefully we don't get snagged up on something too nasty, but we'll see what it do. I'm not really even seeing any too many fish right now. But regardless, we're gonna do a little spin. That was kind of a bad throw, I'm not gonna lie. But listen, it's fine. First throw of the day. Let's see. Please be fishes. I'll try to keep it three casts to a spot like we did last time we are here, just so. Oh. What? Oh, that's a bottle. Ew. But just because... Oh, what are you? I think that might be an Eastern Happy cichlid. It is, I believe. It might be a tilapia. Don't quote me on the Eastern Happy thing. Ew. <laughs> it's squirted. Where'd it go? Hey, you weren't supposed to disappear like that, bud. It might still be in my net. Low-key. Low-key, though. All right, well, we did catch a fish. Not quite sure where that fish disappeared to. First net, kind of anticlimactic. Not gonna lie. But it's cool. It's fine. It's literally fine. This spot I do remember is a lot muddier, which is not cool. Gonna get a little gross doing this, but these weights are also like pretty light, I think. So it's gonna make it a little bit harder to actually keep all the fish we catch. Good throw, good throw. Uh, <laughs> no fish in this net, I don't think. We got one more net at this location and then we're gonna move on. Oh, what are you, see? I, see, I knew that one was an Eastern Happy Sickle. We're gonna get them out of the net before we lose them to the grass. But look at that, guys. First fish of the day is actually an exotic Eastern Happy Cichlid. Very common in this area. Pretty cool little fish. This, I think, is a male. You can see the red on its head right here. I think this is a male. Also, the spots on the fin. So we're gonna get him back in the water just because. We want him to stick around and keep breeding. Because you guys be murder in this spot. <laughs> <laughs> but so okay first fish of the day was actually an exotic we'll just keep firing around i got that thing on me you're gonna try to get a better throw this time not really better i'm not gonna lie that was not better but i try okay i try oh this is heavy please oh i saw that's big flashes big flashes in the net oh no are we stuck big fish what are you <sighs> wait oh it's a jaguar cichlid <laughs> it's actually probably one of the coolest big cichlids we could catch. I'm going to open this on the pavement so we don't have another loss. That's actually sick. Oh, awesome. A big jaguar cichlid. Wow, he's super fat and healthy. Wow. Oh, he's peeing. Can you guys see that? Why? Why are you peeing? Damn, he's holding that stream kind of long. But beautiful, beautiful jaguar cichlid. You can see a little bit of blues on him. Super, super pretty fish. I'm trying to hold him so you guys could see the face. I think this is a big male. Look at that. Look at the teeth on this guy. Beautiful, beautiful jaguar cichlid. We're gonna get him back in the water. Super, super cool catch. Yeah, 
He's probably breeding somewhere down there. So we'll let him continue his business. Be free. Mm, thank you. Thank you for that. That was sick that you did that. But because we just caught a Jaguar cichlid, I think we'll take one more net right here and then keep on keeping on. What's up? Uh, yeah, I just caught a decent sized one. It was a uh, Jaguar cichlid. It's pretty cool. <laughs> All right, guys. Another throw. Oh, that was a decent throw. Anybody? I don't feel any fish in this net. Ooh. Oh, never mind. Just a small little bluegill. Oh, you got this small Yeah, a little fish. You want to see it? You want to see it? <laughs> okay. No? Oh, baby. oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it's a little fish. Oh, you can't find big one yet. There are big ones in here. They're just harder to catch with the net. One more net. Hit the back corner a little bit. That guy's interesting, we'll say that much. Nope, doesn't seem like it. So we're gonna move on to the next spot, see if we could have a little bit more success elsewhere. I just stopped because I noticed down there, I just bopped you guys. I see a ton of mollies and I saw a Dalmatian down there. So we'll, odds, odds are we'll catch something really sick right now. The old me before you belongs to the past in the back of your mind. You might think there's something more around. That song is so gas. All right, let's get it. No, I missed it. Guys, we just hit a huge net and I caught this beautiful, beautiful molly. Perfect net. We got so many flopping around. We even got one of these male cichlids right here, but I gotta get, <laughs> I gotta get my uh, bucket of water full so I could pick all these guys up and show you everything we just caught. I saw a pocket of them right there through a perfect net. The net was full of fish, but I just so happened to not be recording. Um, <laughs> I accidentally clicked the button. <laughs> when I got what I got, girl, I... So we got this beautiful, beautiful Dalmatian molly right here. And now we gotta go fast, AA. Pick up the rest of these mollies. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> All these guys. We're just gonna get them the bucket for the time being and then I'm gonna put them back. God damn. And these are all big females, pregnant, probably got a lot of babies in them. But you can see, I wait, oh, look at that male. We'll get them in a second. I wish I didn't miss that net. It was like actually a perfect pancake. And it resulted in a ton of these mollies. Only downside to catching a ton of mollies is trying to pick up a ton of mollies before they start to go down. Oh, there's a cichlid over there too. We caught like literally 50 mollies in that one net. We also got ourselves a little mine right here. Nothing crazy. Ooh. We also got a little baby male cichlid. Jeez. <laughs> Look at that. We're gonna get all these guys back in the water. Hopefully I don't miss this next cast net, but damn, we we balled out. We're gonna get all these guys back in the water and I'm gonna hit that back corner, see if we could pull up another huge net like that one. Caught a bucket. No. Oh, we might need to cast net the bucket now. Oh, okay. That might have been perfect, might not have been. Let's see. Oh, oh, I feel something big. Oh, did it kick out? Oh, I think it kicked out. No, oh my God. Oh my God. Holy shit. Oh my God. Damn. Okay, guys, guys, calm down. You're going back in the water. I don't want any of you. Oh, slabs of tilapia in a nice size pleco. Please free yourselves. Thank you. Oh man, now I'm gonna get all these guys back in the water. Dude, dude, stop breaking. Holy, dude, calm down, calm down. Please, 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 stop. Just stop, just stop. Chill for a second, for a second, for a second, dude, please. Oh, oh my God, this fucker has the most energy I've ever seen. Oh my God, guys, please stop break dancing. Oh, he's peeing too. What is up with these big cichlids and them peeing? Okay. That was a fire net. That was a good net. Damn, I gotta get my bucket still. I don't see any fish in there yet. Don't mean we don't count them though. Oh, oh, it's a bass. That's a first. All right, open that bad boy up. Be free, my friends. All right, everybody out the net. Oh, oh my God, wait, 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 wait. wait. Oh, that's a beautiful little baby Oscar, guys. We're definitely gonna be, oh, stop. Guys, look at that beautiful Oscar. This pavement's really hot. I'm gonna try to get these guys up out of there. We got a nice little bass right here. We're gonna get him back in the water real quick. Then we got this bluegill, and that's everything out of this net. But look at this baby Oscar, guys. That thing is beautiful. Um, we might put them in a keeper bucket. We might just put them back simply because nowhere to actually put them right now. I could get them to a friend's house, but you know what? That's what we'll do. We'll put them in a bucket and we'll try to get them to a friend. All right, boys, going off-roading in the slides. Please don't sink too far. Please just come right there. All right, perfect. 
got this bucket with some water get the little baby oscar right there all right cool we're gonna throw one more net at this spot and see if we can't pull up something out what you looking at willis we're gonna go down the canal a little bit see if we can't spot something to drop our net on hopefully another big school and this time i don't miss the footage of it happening all right we're gonna throw in this back corner what's up shack oh that was a, actually a really money throw nope no fishes in this one i don't believe so what we're gonna do is guys oh wait <laughs> i think i see an eastern happy down there oh wow look at that guys wow that's almost as beautiful as they get this one is a stunner look at that eastern happy cichlid beautiful beautiful male we're gonna get him back in the water let him do his thing he's a nice little stud right there Ooh, okay i'm seeing a lot of good fish right here i see some cichlids right there i see a lot of mollies back there you know what we're probably gonna shoot for those because a lot of the times the fish like to school with each other and we got a fat school right there i think you guys could see him maybe not because of the zoom but we're gonna throw we're gonna throw some over there. Give him a piece of our mind. Nice to be alive. <laughs> Considering, you know, I wasn't almost a couple days ago. <laughs> all right, all right. We're gonna load up and sling this that way. Don't hit the truck, please. Okay, almost nearly perfect. If we got a better net on that, it would have been actually money. Give me some exotic fishes, please. <laughs> Did we even catch any fish? I don't see any. Wow. Okay. I suck. No way there's no way oh my god okay we're throwing right there oh shit. that's the most mollies i've ever seen in my life come on don't make me look bad oh oh my god i spooked them all up and we got literally like a hundred in here no way <laughs> <laughs> look at that guys all right we're gonna unload this um, i'll do it on the pavement real quick oh a cichlid right there the pavement's hot so we're just gonna dump everything right here because i could see everything the guys in the net will get last but right here guys oh there's an iridescent shark in here no look at that guys we just got him in the school of the mollies and we got a nice african cichlid right here oh we got two african cichlids look see i told you the exotics do like the school of the mollies so if you see a fat school of mollies i'd recommend throwing your net at it because you never know what you're actually going to pull up with them but we're going to get these two in the water this guy in the keeper bucket look look how many mollies there are there's literally hundreds no probably thousands right here but we got this beautiful iridescent shark right here and we got a ton of super fat mollies any cool dalmatians or big males i'm not seeing any so we're gonna get all these guys back in the water real quick and we're gonna get this guy in our keeper bucket that oscar looks so sad but we got this iridescent shark right here we'll just put him right there and then we also got this net somebody sent super interesting i thought it was a fish trap for a second but no it's just a super long net so we're gonna have to try to find somewhere to put this to use because it's very interesting i actually don't know how i'm gonna use it oh boy this is where the big nice males went i thought i saw some gotta be very careful getting these guys out boom beautiful we got another beautiful beautiful male look at that guys beautiful Beautiful male mollies right here. Gorgeous. I mean, absolutely stunning fish. I absolutely love these guys. Look at the fins on them. We're gonna get them back in the water ASAP. And look how many more, oh my. If there's sharks schooling with these mollies, we gotta throw a few more nets right here. I'm seeing so many fish, it's unreal. It's even more lively than the last time we are here. But we're gonna throw a net right here. Hopefully that's enough to get it done. Wow. Look at all those fish that just started jumping. Something's heavy. I don't know if I pick something up. There's just a lot of fish and mud. What is up with this? Oh, wait, what are you? It looks like we got a bunch of mud. Oh, Eastern Happy Cichlid I see down there. Female, it seems. Female Eastern Happy Cichlid, or no, actually a little baby male. We're gonna take a few more nets. Oh, hey buddy. I literally didn't see you. <laughs> Beautiful Eastern Happy Cichlid. But like I was saying, guys, we're going to take a few more nets. Gorgeous colors on them. And then we're going to run over to our traps at the Paku spot and the Walmart sewer. See what all we caught in there. But we're just going to take one or two more nets here. I see a ton of fish. To oh, I see a school of mollies coming towards us. We're going to snipe them. I think I got them. Oh, <laughs> Oh, I'd say we did. I'd say we did for sure. Oh my God. It's literally so easy. Oh my, I see some cichlids in there as well. It's literally that easy, guys. Yep. <laughs> oh, I see a big male east. Oh my God, that's a stud. But we're going to try to get everybody out of here. You can see the color from right. Oh, there's another baby shark. Oh, let's go. A beautiful 
little baby iridescent shark in here guys we also got this beautiful male happy easter sick eastern happy cichlid look at the color on him that boy is a stud this is about as nice as they get they do get a little nicer you can see the red on the head all three colors it's like a little rainbow fish this guy but we got him and this little iridescent shark we're gonna get this guy back in the water this guy in our keeper bucket and then the rest of these seem to be just some big old mollies no cool colors i don't even really even see any males but you, oh eastern happy Hey, buddy. Beautiful. Little, little male, I guess. But yeah, we're going to get this guy in our bucket now. I hope y'all are playing nice together, but we got a beautiful little iridescent shark right here. Get him in this bucket with the Oscar, Oscar and the other shark. And we're going to get the rest of those mollies back in. And we're going to throw one more net on the other side of that bridge before we check our traps. Final net, boys. Let's see what it do. Oh, I'm going to cast over there. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. I hear dog. What's up, dog? Dogs do not scare me at all. You'd need like a rabid kind of corso to scare me. Oh no, I see a lot of fish in here, guys. Seems like it's just mollies right now. Yeah, I'm seeing are these mollies. I think we cleared the net. Yeah, we got some big mamma jammas down there. All right, we're gonna do one more net. I'm gonna get these guys back in the water and we're gonna do one more net on that side. 360 no scope, you ready? No scope. Oh, for a second, up. Oh. I think that was something from my pocket. Never mind. We're good. <laughs> Is this some mud? What do we get? Oh, I see something big. Please no. Oh no. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> what is this? Damn, that's a nice Mayan right there. And we got a dragonfly. Ow. These but oh, get off me. Ant. Oh no, did I step on an ant hill? All right. Let's bring these guys over. See what all we caught. Seems like a bunch of cichlids for the time being. We gotta get make sure we get big man out of here. Please don't pee or fight. Thank you. There you go, bud. What else? Oh, no way. Okay, so we got a Molly, an Eastern Happy. And then if you look close, guys, we got another little baby shark. Look at you. Oh, he's beautiful. Such a little cute baby. And these guys were all getting back in the water. But we'll get these guys back in the water. We got a blue Jill, but we're going to get him in the bucket. These guys in the water. And we're going to go check our trap, see what all we caught in those. All right, buddy, have fun with your three Migos. Oh, they're so cute. Hopefully the traps at the other locations catch some fish as well. If not, we did already have a pretty good day cast netting. We're gonna walk on over here and see if our trap is still there and if we caught anything. Our stick has moved, which is a little odd, but I still see the line. So hope I don't think anybody took the trap. Let's just see. It's really, really deep in this sewer, but already I could see our trap. I'm not sure if I see any fish in it yet. We'll know very shortly. Oh, okay, we got a few fish. We got some mollies in there, some eastern happy cichlids. I'm not sure if I see anything too crazy. Oh, look, there we go. We got a clown knife fish in the trap. Uh, hopefully when I open this, they don't jump out. That would really, really suck. But, oh, <laughs> didn't mean to close it on them. Where did that clown knife go? I literally just saw him. Oh, look at this eastern happy cichlid, guys. So this water is connected to that same canal. It goes a bit of ways, but beautiful, beautiful Eastern happy cichlid. We'll just take them out of this. Oh, what is that? Look at this. Is this what I think it is? No, where'd he go? Oh no, no. Is his head through? Is he small enough to get through this? Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at that. We got a clown knife fish. Well, actually not a clown knife fish, I don't think. These are a different species. We catch them here in these sewers. I don't know what species they are, but we got a knife fish, which is super awesome to see. And then let's see. We got a little baby bicer in here as well, guys. Look at him. Oh, he's so pretty. Come on, man. Stop being difficult. I really wish I had a little tank for this guy. Look at that. <laughs> He's so cute. But we're going to get him in here. Hopefully they all play nice for the time being. And I think this Eastern Happy Cichlid is actually preggers. Yep. She's got a ton of little babies in there. I don't know how well you guys could see. Oh, no. She just spit out all her babies. Look. <laughs> she just spit out all the babies. Is she going to try to pick them up or is she just going to leave them be? Oh, that's actually really sad. Hopefully she could figure it out. That's really sad. Hopefully she could get her babies back before anybody eats them. I doubt they're safe in there. All right, gang, we're at the sewer with the Paku. So hopefully we caught some. I'll give you guys a close up of the rest of the fish we caught in here in just a second, but we're at the location. There are a ton of really big Paku in here. So maybe we do a video uh, in the future where we actually try to catch those rod and reel. But right here, we're back at the sewer fish trap. Hopefully we succeeded. I literally have no idea. Um, the grate looks like it's blocking the hole, but smaller fish, actually most of the fish in here, like cichlids and such, 
can actually pass through still, as well as the baby Paku. So hopefully we did catch some. I can't see whether, oh, I see some fish. Okay, so we did actually catch some fish in here. Wow. Okay, so we caught a lot. We caught some big bluegill and I could see some beautiful little peacock bass right here, guys. Look at this. These guys are some fresh spawns, some really, really pretty little baby peas. I wish we had a little predator tank where we could grow these guys out. We're just gonna get them back in the water and we should probably get these bigger fish out too, just because they tend to jump around a lot and smash the smaller ones. We got a tilapia. Oh my God. Whoa. <laughs> Look at the size of this bluegill. That's one of the biggest bluegills I've ever seen out of this pond and i think i see another pretty fat fish right here so we're just gonna try to get him out just before he causes havoc so another really nice little bluegill and we got some we got a lot of bass <laughs> that's interesting like we got a large mouth and two peas another large mouth another large mouth oh i see some paku down there some little babies but we'll get these guys back in the water and right here oh no see this is oh wait no he's fine I thought he got, no, he got smashed a little. Yeah, see, this is what I mean. The bigger fish tend to crush them. So this baby Paku got mashed up by that uh, bluegill. So I don't think he's alive. That's really sad. He's twitching a little bit, but I don't think he's gonna make it. We could put him in the bucket for the time being, just in case. Maybe he comes through. Oh, no, he's got life. Oh, he's a survivor. Get this big tilapia out here, just so none of the others get crushed. Come on, bud. Get him back in there. And then jump down in here. Any fish hiding there? It looks like in this corner, we're just left. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's got spines. Please don't stab me. Oh my God. Look at this catfish. I have never caught a catfish like this before. If you guys can identify it, please comment it down below, but we'll put him in our little keeper bucket. He might've also gotten crushed by, yeah. I don't know, guys. I don't know if he's doing too good. He probably got crushed by, why are you swimming upside down, brother? <laughs> what is he doing? That's so weird. I don't know what to make of that. That is really weird, but we got two more paku in here it looks oh no there's three three baby little paku in here guys which is awesome to see beautiful beautiful little baby paku in here and now that we got all these guys out of the trap we're gonna get them in this bucket they all seem to be doing well all things considered and we're gonna get these fish over to my friend's house yo i'm bringing you guys with me on a little date night with batman <laughs> But in all reality, guys, we're going to go booze cruise over to a pier and maybe fish a little bit. Like, we're just going to mess around, to be honest with you. But we're, we're going to try to catch some fish. So we're going to run into this Bass Pro Shops right now, parked in the military spot, because you guys know I served in Nam. All right, gamers, we're now in Bass Pro Shops. We're looking for some rods and stuff. We don't know how much fishing we're actually going to successfully do, but... That's the game plan for right now. We have to get the proper attire. That's a fire hat. That's sick. Yes, <laughs> you should get that. I don't know if I, I should get a sombrero. You should. This looks pretty fitting. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, look at all the fishes. Look, they got, that's a drum I think. That's a big fish. That's a drum? Yes. <laughs> We're going with these rods, A, because they're cheap and probably gonna get stolen out the back of my truck at some point, and B, a lighter rod might be more fun if we actually ever catch something. <laughs> I don't ever really fish uh, with rod and reel, but we're gonna go with 30 pound test. I used to bass this all the time, so like this should be easy. This will be easy. We're gonna use these little hooks because we're gonna try to catch something small. And then just for shits and giggles, we're gonna throw a big circle hook on this with whatever we catch with a little hook and see if we could catch something bigger. Oh, <laughs> she's a natural, <laughs> she's a natural. And now we got all the stuff from Bass Pro Shop. <laughs> <laughs> so we're ready to go to this pier. We don't even know where we're going yet. I just, we got the smaller hooks for the smaller fish. We got big hooks. I know how to spool a reel and all that good stuff. So we're gonna be fine. And we got booze. So we'll have fun regardless. <laughs> don't drink. It is not cool kids. Don't drink. But I'm an adult. I'm legally an adult. I'm okay. Twelve. You're only 12? Yeah. <laughs> oh boy is trying to get the catalytic. Oh, did he climb up in the truck? Oh, um, there's a cat in that truck. Uh, what is happening? <laughs> Batman, I need help. <laughs> no, I mean, you could hold it if you want to. Why is it nodding up like that? Why do that? It's fine. But we're getting this first one spooled up. I don't know why it's doing that. I've never had it do that before. Okay, problem solved. I'm so smart. Okay, that was exactly it. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're gonna get these spooled up. All right. all right, guys, we got this little itty bitty baby hook right here. I don't know if you guys can see it all that good. My head is in the clouds right now. Just pray I come around, around. 
See this right here? This is called, what should we name this knot? It's got a name, but we'll rebrand it. It has a name. I learned about it. Clinch knot, I think. Guys, comment down below, is this a clinch knot? Don't do it. Don't eat that. You're not gonna wanna eat that. No. <laughs> but we got a fish trap right here, guys. We're gonna set it in the water to try to catch some smaller fish to hook up to our, our hooks. And we're gonna have a good day. Well, night. night. So right here, I, first of all, I see some little fish right here. That guy probably would not eat another fish, but that's fine. He's some kind of like little tang or something. But I noticed over here when I've turned on the light, there was a bunch of fish that just started f migrating and like flocking this little area. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna put some cat food in our fish trap right here, and then I'm gonna hook it up to our rod and drop it in. We're gonna get some bait going, and then after we do that, oh, I'm, I'm gonna throw up. That thing is, thank you. This trap is just full of like cat food. But like this cat food is a couple months old. But that should be enough. We'll test out how cat food works and so Oh. It goes red. And green. And blue. And white. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good. It's like melted cat food. Gross. Uh, where's the fishing rod? I can here. trade. Tried. I can just give me no. So we're gonna take this little hook. And this is 30 pound test, so this should be a okay. Take this little fish trap contraption. And we're just gonna send her off. Can I get some lot play? I used to be a fisher boy. But usually only for bass because I was in New Jersey. But we're gonna sling this. Oh, this rod is so light. Yeah. We're just gonna sling that. Sling it around. All right, and we're gonna let that sit trap sit down there. Did I say sit trap? Sit trap. We're gonna let that fish trap sit right there. I think it'll catch some fishes. No, that's that's a leaf. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> anyways. But we just stumbled on this beach, guys, and we're seeing a lot more little fishes bouncing around. Look, there's some right there. See, if I had that net, we'd be able to net them up right now, but I don't think I'd be able to get close enough with the net I currently have. But we might post up right here, see what we could catch. Maybe we catch a boat. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? But we're probably gonna order some pizza. Yeah, there's a lot of little fishes around here. I think I got it. No, I did not. Away. Whatever oh, bastard. You might have better luck. You got it. Watch the pro. You got it. Batman. Batman. <laughs> Batman is ready. I think if I lead the light, that's what scares them away. But at the same time, you need to be able to see. Is that a mangrove? A sea cucumber. No. That's... <laughs> oh, look at it. It's just hopping away. What the flip? Oh, you got it. Dive. <laughs> this net is... I don't think this is the net for the netting job but we gotta let that fish trap marinate oh there's one right there you got it <laughs> i'll catch one wait there's a fish right here oh no it's a rock oh skipping rock oh it, no is that a jellyfish oh oh my god what is that what is that is that an implant ew what is that <laughs> That's so gross. Is that I a jellyfish? Think, I think that might be a jellyfish. Is that? I can't tell. Don't tell. Whoa, ah, that's so weird. Did it sting? No, but I thought it did. What the hell? It's just... <laughs> yeah, it might be. That's so weird. What is? Did you do that? Yeah. Is that you? That was when I peed. Oh, uh, okay. I'm gonna skip this walk. You ready? Oh, this is a perfect spot for that. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Sick, dude. Dude, this is really awesome. Look at that. <laughs> Needle fish. <gasps> Are they sharp? Should we use it as bait? That's so sad. That You're right. You're right. I'm kidding. Yeah, you gotta like... <laughs> there you go. Here. Well, you do that. It's gonna die. Nah, probably not. Let's see its mouth. Does it have teeth? I think it's got teeth. It has baby teeth. Oh, uh, yeah, it's got teeth. It's basically like a little gar. You just chomp it on my finger. All right, mm, we can put him back in the water. There you go. <laughs> you can let it go. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, so mission accomplished. Should we order pizza and let the fish trap settle? 
Oh, you mean. <laughs> you mean. I got it. <laughs> no. <laughs> you did not did. catch a fish. That's insane. Ah, I don't want to touch it. <laughs> you got it. Wow. <laughs> no freaking way. <laughs> He's so tired of us. He's so over it. No. <laughs> okay, it wasn't going to die before, but it might now. No, it won't. You just stressed it it's out. So hard. <laughs> that was so rude. No, <laughs> no. All right, we'll leave it be. Definitely not going to be able to see the trap with my phone light. Yeah. But yeah, no. Someone definitely took it. No. <laughs> Somebody stole the rod? Really? And the fish trap? <laughs> what? I told you it was going to happen. You did, but I figured just hiding it right here, nobody would even see it. Yeah, yeah. I told you it was going to happen. Yeah, there's some bum on a John boat. Wow. I wonder if he stole anything out of the back of my truck. <laughs> so I threw a lot at you guys today. We did the fish traps, we did some cast netting, and we also did, uh, we went on a little date night with Vic camera girl so if you guys enjoyed the video please like the video subscribe channel and turn on post notifications it was a lot it was a lot and like i could do stuff like that in the future like i could make date stuff like its own individual video if you want to see that um but yeah overall pretty productive day we did get a little car mattress thing for the car so that will be cool thank you to everybody off the wish list who has been sending me stuff thank you to everybody who's been donating to the gofundme it's helped out a lot you know i like it's weird when you have you like i don't know what i need like i just got put clothes up there and gift cards because like if anything if i need something then i'll be able to get it but i'm waiting on the townhouse application I, I'm honestly hoping they deny me so I could get my 20, like my deposit back and then find somewhere else because I don't know. I don't think I could swing that anymore. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see. Like ideally, I might even try to find like a little house instead of a townhouse. I might. I don't know. I don't know. It's just all, it's all weird. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you did. And let me know in the comments below any critiques. We'll make it happen. We'll improve really funny how Vic called it she did say she thought somebody was gonna steal that fish trap and sure enough someone did what am, what am i gonna do what am i gonna do